In this video, I'm going to show you how to reverse the order of your rows in Google Sheets. Basically, what I'm going to show is how to flip your data around or inverse a table or a list. So there's a few different ways to do that in Google Sheets. I'm going to show two methods. The first method is just what we're going to do is create a helper column where every row is going to have an index number. And then we're going to sort that helper column from largest to smallest. The second method, we're just going to use a formula to reverse the order of your list or table. So the first method is relatively easy, but it does involve a little bit of setting up. So first what I need to do is I need to figure out where I want my helper column. So you can either put it at the end of your data or at the beginning. I'm just going to put it at the beginning. So I'm going to insert a new column left and I'll, I'll just label it helper. And then I'm going to copy the formatting um, just because I like everything to look uniform. So this is my helper column now. And so I need to fill out the first two numbers of my helper column. So I just want these in numerical order. So I'm going to do one, two. And then when I have these first two numbers filled out, I can highlight these numbers and you see there's this little blue square in the bottom right corner and you can double click that and it should number all the way down to um, the end of your data. Um, now sometimes if you have some blank um, rows, it may not number all the way down. So the other, the other way to uh, do that would be you can also click and drag and hold and that will also number all the way down. So what we basically want is we want a column where it's basically an index number and it's going in numerical order. So once you have that, you can highlight the entire data range and then come up to data. And then we want to select sort range here. So if your data has a header row, which mine does, you select this box and then you need to select the column that has your helper um, index numbers in it and then we are sorting this from Z to A so then I select sort and you can see now the rows that were on the bottom are on the top so I have now reversed the order of this table so that is one method for reversing the order of your rows in Google Sheets the next method is a little bit more complicated what we're going to be doing is using a formula to do this so um, the formula we're using, it's a combination of the index function and the rows function. All you're really doing is you're putting in your data range into the index function, and then you have a rows function where you also put the same data range that you want sorted. Now there is a little bit of nuance with this and that you need to make sure you're taking absolute cell references in certain spots, but I will show you that um, as I get into the formula. So with this method, if you have a header row, you want to leave your header row out of the formula. So what I'm going to do is copy the header rows over here because my formula is going to return the sorted table here. And so I want to have the header row here just so I know um, what each column is. So I've copied my header rows and now it's time to begin entering the formula. So the first part of the formula is index so equals index and then I'm going to press tab and I'm just going to highlight the entire data range but again I'm leaving out the header row this time now I'm going to press F4 because I want to take the absolute cell references so this is going to make sure that my cell references are locked in place what it did is it added these dollar signs which indicates absolute cell reference then I'm going to press a comma and what we're going to do is the rows function now and I'm going to put in this same data range but this time I do not want an absolute cell reference on both of these um, just around this last one I'm going to put the dollar signs right around the D because we're only taking the absolute cell reference of this last one and then what I'm going to do is put two closing parentheses to close out the formula. So the first one closes out the rows function. The second one closes out the index function. And then I'm going to press enter. Now what this should do is it should return the very last row 
of your table on top. So you can see this is the very last row. It matches. Now what I can do is copy this formula, paste it all the way down. Just to make everything uniform, I'm going to paint format. And now that I've copied this formula and pasted it all the way down, it is reversed. So you can see the last one is here. This is the second to last one. And then let's see the top one, 469. You can see it matches 469. So the entire thing is reversed. So those are two methods for reversing the order of a list or a table in Google Sheets. The first method is definitely easier. But the drawback of this method is that if my original data set changes, um, the order of this method won't also update, or the data in this method won't update. You have to resort it or re enter the data and sort it with this method. With the second method, it's a formula, so it's a little more complicated. It's still really not that difficult once you try it out a few times. But the benefit of this method is that if I have new data, so maybe um, these numbers change for whatever reason, so I'll just update that. You can see the data in the return table also updated, so it's dynamic. So that can be useful for certain situations. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you found this useful. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.